Liz Smith grew up with two dreams, to be a pediatric nurse and a parent. She achieved her first goal, but her journey to motherhood was tougher. Until she crossed paths with a tiny little preemie who was in withdrawal in the hospital as a result of her birth mother's drug use. Just as this little baby Giselle was about to enter foster care, Liz stepped in to adopt Giselle herself. And joining us now is nurse Liz Smith and her daughter Giselle, who is so much bigger and so adorable oh now. Gosh. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Sorry, there's a monkey on with us. <laughs> oh, wow. Liz, um, this is adorable to me. I mean, I, 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 on so many levels, your, your road to motherhood was tough. You struggled with infertility. You tried all sorts of ways to become a mother. And when did it dawn on you that the little preemie in the hospital that you worked in could be yours? Really, the first time I saw her after a few of the nurses at Franciscan Children's approached me and said, Liz, have you met Giselle? And I said, no, why? And they said, she needs a medical foster home, and you two are the perfect pair. And I said, I don't know. I have never considered fostering or adoption. A week later, literally, Giselle crossed my path in a stroller, and we locked eyes, and that was it. Oh, my gosh. And so <laughs> do you know um, what became of her parents? I mean, why? Why, I, I was heartbroken when I heard the account that she was in the NICU for months and she'd never had any visitors. Mm -hmm. She was in the NICU for a few months and her parents were still involved at that point. And then she was transferred to Franciscan Children's for acute rehab. <laughs> and that's when I met her. And, and the parents <laughs> battling with their illness of addiction uh, really faded over time. And, and that's when the state got involved and, and had minimal contact. And eventually they recognized they were not able to care for her and supported me and, and, and let her go. <laughs> We can hear her giggling, okay? Yes. I'm, I'm like, I'm sorry if that's just Oh my gosh, <laughs> don't be sorry. I mean, it's really beautiful and I can't keep her on my lap. <laughs> no, but I mean, she's still in the segment because we can hear her delightful giggles. Oh, and you know, I totally, I relate to you on um, one level. I too had a preemie who was that size. If we can put up that picture again, your baby was 2.6. Giselle, when she was in the hospital, two pounds, six ounces. Mm -hmm. I had a two pounds, seven ounce baby. So I know the challenges wow. and how scary yes. it is to hold a little baby like that. Giselle seems to be doing well. Does she have any lasting medical issues after how she was born the daughter um, at that time of an addict? Right, she was, she was doing great. And I actually didn't know her initially when she was born and in the NICU, um, but she was actually born at a pound and 14 ounces. <laughs> And really, she's thriving. She has a feeding tube where she still gets her nutri the, the majority of her nutrition through. But other than that, the specialists think she's just remarkable. They can't believe the strides that she's made and how healthy and strong she is. Her resilience is, is inspiring to me. And every day, I, I am amazed by her. And, and how, I how didn't love any more anyone. I can understand that. And very quickly, how has your life changed? It, oh, it's changed dramatically, but all for the better. I mean, she's taught me, you know, we talk about the power of love, but to witness how it can transform a life um, and to witness how it's transformed her life and mine is unbelievable. I, I've never been happier or stronger and, and just I, I couldn't imagine life without her. Well, she also seems like a very happy girl. Uh, Liz, <laughs> Come here. Liz Smith. Come here. Thank you very much for sharing Giselle with Thank us and you. sharing your story with us. Bye, Giselle. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, guys.